My name is Henrik Löberding. My name is Niklas Kals. My name is Baron Edelmann. I'm Marcus. My name is Steffen Bertels. My name is Anna Dilberg. My name is Robert. My name is Steffen Kaminski. Yeah! I'm a 25-year-old mechanical engineering student from RWTH Aachen University. I'm one of the co-founders of the Team Sonnenwagen Aachen that wants to compete in the World Solar Challenge 2017 in Australia. I think I heard about it in the news quite a few years ago already. At the beginning of my studies that teams from all over the world built solar cars and uh, raced them in Australia. Last year, uh, in the summer, I realized, wow, the World Solar Challenge is again in the fall. Before the team was founded, Hendrik called me uh, with his idea, with his crazy idea of basically building a solar car from scratch. And I just thought to myself, let him talk see what he's up to, and it was uh, quite a good idea. What a crazy idea. Whole car in two years, it's very ambitious, but you can try and I will take part in it. It was Hendrik who made me join the team, and we were having a beer and he was like, yeah, I heard about that solar challenge and I want to participate. Are you in? And we were like, hmm. We started discussing, like, how would we actually do this? How would we enter ourselves uh, in the World Solar Challenge? We are we're basically distracting ourselves from studying by thinking about it. And this went on for weeks and weeks in our apartment. And there came a point when we realized, okay, we were just hypothesizing the entire time, but why aren't we doing it ourselves? We started calling friends, uh, sending emails around, okay, who could be interested? And suddenly we we're quite a big group of students preparing basically a master plan on how a team from Aachen can enter the World Solar Challenge. What was so exciting about it was all the people there, they were really organized and they were really talented. So they're really deep in the project and I could really see where they're going with this and I wanted to join that. The reason why I'm in the team the most is I want to want to create something great. We all work as a team and create something great, like a car. Constant challenge for our new team is the entire complexity of the project. So many different parts have to come together and work successfully to have a great car. It's the aerodynamics, it's the electrical engineering, it's the driving strategy, it's the, the logistics, it's the fact that we are all students uh, working on this in part-time next to our studies. There are so many aspects of the project that make it very complex. My task at Team Sonnenwagen Aachen is to program an interface which is responsible for the communication between the solar car and the support car as well as the cloud. Right now I'm the only guy from the University of Applied Science. I'm working in robotics for like four years now and I think that with this knowledge of, of robotics and mechatronic systems I can contribute into the, to the team uh, in order that I can uh, show like practical ways to solve problems and, and get, use my knowledge in robotics and mechatronic systems to improve our car further. Now we're going very deep into detail and we're planning what do we have to think about and quantize. This is what we're just trying to figure out, that we don't forget anything while modeling, because it's quite a long list and this is just the beginning. I think uh, our plan right now is to have um, a car in March. I don't know if that's possible, but yeah, that might be a good idea, because probably not everything's working out, so we will still have to fix some things. How do we design a car? Just maybe have a look at the others and do it better. Keep looking at ways we can innovate, be smarter, be, be lighter, be faster, uh, be more efficient in all aspects of our solar car. A success would be for me that we create a car that has some features on it that are amazing, that when people see the car and say, wow, that's, that's quite cool. I don't think there are real failures um, that we do. Maybe some, sometimes stuff didn't work out, but when it doesn't fail, it's an opportunity for us to learn, to, to get better. A failure. Hmm. If we are not able to build it, that would be a failure. A failure for me would also like be that we are not finishing the crossing line because that's a goal. I really don't uh, think about a failure. Don't think about all the problems, and we will do it. 
if we don't manage to build a car, that would be a failure, but I don't think that will happen. this will happen, so there's no possibility of failure. I'm giving it 100% that we're crossing the finishing line.